Howdy fellas, welcome to Uncle Sasquatch Outdoors. Uh, several of you ask have I shot the, the rifles that I built back during the winter, early spring. And my answer to that honestly is no I haven't because I have a bad tendency sometimes to get myself sidetracked. I've had intentions to do it, it just seems like every day that I had the chance that uh, it was windy outside and I don't like uh, wind noise in video so I just haven't done it and plus on top of that I've gotten a, building a few knives. The first one I got was by accident this little French knob knife here. It was supposed to be a coffin handle knife which I'll show you an example of that in a minute but they sent the wrong thing so I just ran with it. So what I did on this one you might think that the uh, handle set a little bit far back. There's two reasons for that. Number one I've got a big finger and I want a place for my finger to sit right there. So when I use it as a patch knife, I'd have good control over cutting it and then cut the end off my <laughs> fingers on the other hand. And two, I've toyed with the idea of, of uh, pouring a pewter bolster on that. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> and also, for my oldest son, he wanted a butcher knife. So he ordered the uh, blade, which was the Russell Green River blade and I made that for him and I'm hoping I can go, upload that as the thumbnail. We'll just have to wait and see on that. Then also I built a, a little bear tooth patch knife which uh, really quite literally resembles a paring knife in a lot of ways and so much so that I wound up giving it to my oldest son uh, to go with that butcher knife I made. Then the next one I built was a, what I call a little sheep foot patch knife. You see that's a very unusual uh, blade shape. And I ordered that and built that and uh, you'll notice these are maple handles. Let me see if I can get that. No. <clears throat> Some of them got a little bit more curl than others. But then <clears throat> I finally ordered the uh, coffin handle knife which you can see here which the blade on it uh, resembles the uh, bear tooth patch knife a whole lot. Got the same little, little uh, finger guard built into it there. But something I discovered, these other ones that, that I built, uh, I use aqua forest to bring out the maple stain or maple curl. But this one I got to looking and I had some uh, men wax, gold and oak stain. So I got to thinking, well, Worst thing you can do is just mess it up. So what I did, once the aqua forest was put on there, then I put that golden oak stain in there. You see how that darkened that up and made it look like an old knife. I really like that. And I, you probably, if you watch my muzzle and bill videos, you know I've kind of got a, a fine spot in my heart, I guess to say, for brass black. I never knew it would do what it does to metal. But you can see that, that's got a kind of an antique patina look on it. These blades are carbon steel. They eventually, over time, will stain and turn that way on their own. But I, <clears throat> I thought that I would go ahead and do that. So, continuing on, I decided I'd build a, another bigger knife. This is another Green River, Russell Green River blade. It's called a, a camp knife which you can see is kind of a clip point type knife. And these are uh, extra curly maple scales and I'm in the process of uh, shaping that one down. <clears throat> I'm not using any uh, power tools on this other than a uh, cordless drill to drill the scale pins in there. And I'm using the brass scale pins which are real easy to work with. And what I'm doing, I'm using rasps and files to shape these handles down which even though I'm <clears throat> taking a coping saw and cutting a lot of that material off, there's still <clears throat> some uh, grinding and filing down by hand that I'm doing on those. It's just something, you know, it kind of takes a lot of work when you do it with rasp and vials, but it, it's something to pass the time with and give me something to do. So I thought I'd give you an excuse for not shooting my guns. That's still in the plan. And I appreciate you and thank you for watching. Keep your powder dry. Mind you, top not pillar.